All right, here we see cardoon. It's this thistly plant in the artichoke family. It was brought over by the Europeans in the early times of colonization. This plant grows here wild. It's like a wild thistle. So if you do have it growing wild on your property, you probably will want to control it because it spreads quite readily. So in the winter time, when we see the seed heads drying and starting to spread their seeds, we collect those. But we always allow a few to grow because they're a valuable food source for animals as well as for us. And when they're flowering in the summertime, they have big, beautiful flowers like an artichoke flower that bees absolutely love them. In Europe, it's commonly used as a fresh vegetable. So although the leaves are very prickly, if you look deep inside, there's very nice fleshy stems. You can cut that off and steam and cook those stems. Tastes just like the heart of an artichoke. Okay, let's get some leaves here. harvested cardoon and it's prickly as hell and I need to clean it up so let's see <laughs> I have a variety of tools here let's see what's best maybe not Super prickly. <laughs> so this is the part that you're supposed to eat. A while back, I had a garden and I had a French friend who came to my garden and she said, Oh, you need to plant cardoon, cardoon, but with a French accent, not my Russian accent. So she brought seeds from France for me to grow. But I think I tried it once and I don't remember what happened. But I'm willing to try again, see how this tastes, if it's edible or not. This is all compost, but I can't even put it in the compost because of all the prickles, you know, they're going to stay in the compost and they're going to be in my fingers if I leave them in the compost. So I'll really have to throw them out somewhere. And this part, we're going to try and cook. One more. This is the best knife. So that's it. Let's see. Let's see how this will taste. Just feel for curiosity. This is our harvest.
Okay, here's the pinnacle of the cardoon experiment. I cooked some and I'm gonna taste now and see what happens. So the first one I put into my vegetable soup. Here it is. So I put the whole stick there didn't cut it up in case it's awful and it will get lost in my soup and then I can't find it. Now, this way I can find it. Ready? Mmm. Tastes like a vegetable. Very mild, very soft, not stringy at all. Um, it absorbed all the tastes of the soup and doesn't have any special taste of its own so it's really good I'm gonna keep this in mind and I can use it in my vegetable dishes now the next one I stir fried it just by itself with a little garlic voila here it is Now I don't feel as nervous as the first time because, you know, now I know that it's edible. Let's see. Ooh, it's bitter. Why is it bitter? It's not stringy at all. It's soft, very chewable. It's a little bit bitter, so if you are not friends with bitter taste, that's not for you. If you actually like bitter, this is really good. It doesn't taste like artichoke at all. A little bit. A little bit like artichoke. Mm. Definitely bitter. But, but very edible. This concludes our wild, naturalized cardoon harvesting and tasting. It's the end of uh, February now, and um, we harvested cardoon a few days ago. I still have some sticks left. I didn't uh, bring myself to cook all of it, but here it is, and I'm going to be using it in my dishes. Thanks for watching. Happy harvesting.